Access. And the second hour for Music Access has begun. In just a bit, we're going to be back with our guest, Benji of BIG, for our Monday Music Charts. So here's how you guys can listen and participate. If you're using a computer, just visit our website, www.adirangradio.com, and you can listen and watch the program that is live on air. All you need to do is click on the banner that says Music Access, which will take you to our homepage, where you can leave your messages, song requests, and also participate in our weekly corners on our send message. And also, you guys can listen through Adirang Cheju FM, but this is only available to our listeners living in the Chejudo Island. The frequencies are 88.7 for Cheju City, 88.1 for Sogyupo City, and 101.9 for the Tejong area. And you can also listen to us through a smartphone application in DMB, Ustream, TuneIn, etc. All you need to do is download the app Adirang Radio and you can use our services there. Alright, so we're going to listen to a song real quick before we come back with Benji and get straight into our Monday music charts. Here is I Found You by The Wanted. I said to I found you. Going to introduce many kinds of albums charts. By topics, by times and places, Monday, Monday Music Charts. Oh, what's good? What's up, guys? It's your boy Jay from Day Sticks. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> It's been a while. I'm back. Why you gotta do Jay like that, man? <laughs> Everybody send this to Jay and, and call out Benji for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Benji, how's your week? Yeah, pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, yeah. How you, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right, man. Awesome, man. I have a lot of fun. Yeah, man. So we're gonna be talking about hobbies real quick. Oh, uh, for sure. I got hobbies. Guys have hobbies or interests that girls hate, which are cars, fishing, computer games, and etc. According to stereotypes. Uh, it's because uh, they cost a lot of time, money. I have neither. You don't... Do you, Are you interested in any of these? Because um, I've never heard you talking about any of these, honestly. I'll be completely honest. Fishing, I did with my dad when I was younger. Uh-huh. With, so, like, me and my mom and my dad mm-hmm. would, like, go out and do fishing. It's I. Right. But I wasn't, like, super into it. Mm-hmm. Computer games... I was a console gamer, mm. not oh, a computer okay. gamer. Uh-huh. And then cars, I'll be completely honest, I'm not huge into cars mm-hmm. because one, I don't have a need for a car right now. Mm-hmm. That's one of them. And but just, even if you don't need it, do you not want one? Not really. What? Like I've wanted a car ever since I was like six years old. Like looking at these kids with like those, the, 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 the toy uh, the, the electric cars, cars? Yeah, 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 I really want to know. Dude, I want to want so Those bad. are so expensive, That's bro. What I'm saying. They're like five hundred or something, mm-hmm. like thousand dollars for that stuff. I don't know. I really though. I'll, I'll be honest. Okay, I might not be into cars. I do like moving though. Mm-hmm. So I like kickboards or skateboards mm-hmm. and stuff like that. See, that's what I was gonna say. Like, you kind of look like a guy that you probably did a, a good amount of skating when yeah, you're a little bit. Uh huh. Like, I actually learned in Korea. Oh, did you yeah. actually? Like, not like tricks and stuff. Uh-huh. Like, I can't pop ollies mm-hmm. or anything, but I can just ride it down mm-hmm. the street. And that was like my mode of transport, actually, mm. a lot of time. But it's all about food for me, man. Food, food. and music. And music. Like just bumping out to like mm-hmm. a hot tune. Mm-hmm. And like listening to, especially now that I'm trying to make music, mm-hmm. how like the balance is different. Mm-hmm. Like they might use a similar kick, mm-hmm. but there's this like side chain with something else. So yeah, there's yeah, yeah. like like in the back more mm-hmm. or something like that. And I'm trying to figure that stuff out. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's my stuff right now. That and food. And exercise. So you said food. So do you do... Cooking? I do cook. You, you, you do cook. I do cook. What would what would your go to dish be if you were trying to impress somebody? Everyone likes steak, right? Uh huh. I said steak. Steak. Say I, I make a nice mashed potato uh, mixture. So what is your tip on trying to get the perfect steak done? Everybody has their own. So style. I do my thing. Here's my thing. So uh-huh. do you baste your steaks? No, I don't. Then you're not cooking steak right. First of all, all right. So, first, get your pan. Uh, oh, I'm not cooking steak right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what you got to do, get your pan super hot. Uh-huh. Because remember, you're not trying to fully cook chicken. Mm-hmm. Uh, how do you like your steak? Medium rare. Then you got to blaze that pan. Mm-hmm. So, you can sear the outside, mm-hmm. but keep it inside. So, there's two ways. You can, well, you could sous vide, mm-hmm. but that's a whole nother. I know you know what sous vide, because yeah, I know yeah, you yeah. watch uh, Bon Appetit and all uh-huh. that stuff. But, um... I make it super hot. Uh-huh. I put a little bit of butter, uh-huh. but if you put butter when it's too hot, it's it going to burn. So what you do is you put butter with a little mixture of uh, oil, uh-huh. oh, an oil that doesn't burn yeah, at a yeah. hotter temperature. And then you put your steaks in the pan, right? Mm-hmm. So you do it maybe, 
until the color comes up a little bit. Mm-hmm. So one of the things that people mistake a lot, mm-hmm. oh, it's going to burn if I leave it in the pan. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know, actually, because I, I use a sta- uh, nonstick. Mm-hmm. But I heard if you use a cast iron, it's mm-hmm. a little different than cooking. Mm-hmm. But you keep it on until the color comes up and you flip it over. Mm-hmm. Because think about it, barbecue. Mm-hmm. We like ribs. Mm-hmm. You like pulled pork? Oh, I love pulled pork. It looks man. burnt on the outside. When you just look at it. It gives it that flavor, though. Exactly. And the same with steak. It's that flavor. Flip it. And once you flip it, take some garlic. Mm-hmm. Just crush it. You don't have to chop it. Just crush it. Just crush it. Put a little bit of rosemary. Mm-hmm. More butter. Mm-hmm. A little olive oil. And baste it. Where do you even find rosemary just in Korea, though? Just baste it, man. Oh, you can find it. I never. They, they never have, like, the spices and stuff here. At the Pei Kwajam, man. Oh, yeah, I gotta go to the pet question. It's a specialty ingredient. Oh. And just keep basting and basting. Mm-hmm. And then once you flip it over, don't kick it for the same time. Just mm-hmm. take it off and let it rest. You gotta let your steak you rest. Gotta let your steaks you rest. gotta let you your steak rest. You gotta let your steak rest. You have to let You have to. That's the one thing. I don't care how you cook or you cook your steak. Like, it's all preference. But if you don't let it rest, that's like, even if you cook the steak bad and you let it rest, that moisture still comes, like, stays in there. Also, side note, two things. And then I'll undone with that my steak facts. Mm-hmm. Um, don't forget to season your steaks before you put them in. Oh. Salt and pepper. And a good amount of it, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the second thing is, make sure your steaks are room temperature before mm. you cook it. Don't take it out of the fridge and put it in. And it has to be at least like an inch to like an inch and a half thick. Yeah, you need a nice Don't get one of those steak. tiny little thin peas because you're going to overcook it. You're going to. Yeah. And even if you don't overcook it, that means you're going to undercook the inside and mm-hmm. just cook the outside. Definitely. <laughs> All right. So. Welcome to Steak Facts, guys. We're going to be talking about. Steaks. Top five idol stars who have an inferiority complex about their looks. Steaks. Mm. Oh, they're the cooking steaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're going to tell you which one came for the fifth to second, and then you are going to have to tell us on which one hit number one on the charts. One lucky person to get the answer correct will win a selfie, so get those answers in ASAP. True. All right, so Benji, do you have any inferiority complexes? I don't. You don't. So you're just perfect. I don't have an. I'm, I don't think I'm perfect. Uh huh. But I don't really. There's not a part of myself that I feel like. Oh, if I could, you know, make my nose bigger mm-hmm. or like double. I I don't have that. Mm-hmm. Like I know I I can lose weight or mm-hmm. I can lower my body yeah, if I make yeah, a better yeah. body. But in terms of that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. my only inferiority complex is when I cook food and it tastes good but doesn't look good, like plating wise. That's See, my favorite. I could care less on how it looks, man. As long as it tastes good. Well, when you're serving it to other people, who cares? It's like, yo, how does it taste though? And they're like, oh, it's good. It's like that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Because it's gonna disappear anyways. True. Wait, would well, you have an inferior complex though? Me? I would say I have small hands. Do you? I have pretty small oh, give hands. Me hands. Give me hands. Give me hands. Your 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 hands aren't that big though either. Yeah. Compared to a lot of other people, for your size at least. True. Yeah. But me, like. I, my hands, I don't think there's a guy that I know that has smaller hands than me. Which, it, it kind of gets in the way when I play basketball with my jump shot. Oh, uh, true. So that's why when I play now, like I've noticed, like I have to spread my fingers as far as possible when makes I take sense, a jump makes shot. Makes sense, makes sense. It's really weird. And it makes that big of a difference, and I've noticed that too. That's okay. I, I bet girls think it's adorable. Uh, Maybe. I don't know. Some girls, they kind of like the big hands when they hold on to it. Or like, you know how some girls like the like the torn up hands or like really like callousy hands because it makes it seem more manly, I guess. I don't know. I've never held hands with a girl before. But then it's different. It's different in Korea, though, I feel like. I, I think girls in Korea, they kind of like softer hands. Well, we assume because we've never dated a girl before. Yeah. Because we're in K-pop. Oh, I've, I, I was, I've grown up as a monk my whole life, so. <laughs> 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 All right, let's get into it. What are we doing? What are we doing? All right, so we're going to be asking each other three questions with two answer choices to choose from. You already know how it is. Question one is, I have an inferior complex that I really want to get rid of. Ready? Three, two, one. No. no. Not really. There's nothing I want to get rid of. Except my fat. Fat? Yeah. I want to say that's an inferiority complex, though, because I really don't care. That's health, though. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I don't. I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know. Next question. <laughs> There's something in Bernard's or Benji's looks that I really envy. Ready? Three, two, one. No. Yes. I know what it is for you though. What is it? Height. Yeah. Yeah. I called it. I, I've always wanted to be at least six feet tall. Oh, I also no offense that I said no to this question. Well, oh, oh, There's I nothing mean, I really want to take. I mean, but it's. You, it's you I could understand that. It's it's stressful to be this perfect, you know. <laughs> 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 <That's question. laughs> there is something that I really no, 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 want. No, 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 no. Let's go back. Let's go back and talk uh, about uh, it. You think you're perfect, right? I don't think. I know. <laughs> you're asking like stupid questions because I think everybody out there knows. You know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
<laughs> Last question is: There's something that I really want my future kids to have in their looks. Oh, ready? Three, two, one. Yes. I don't know. It's an iffy one. It's iffy. I mean, they're on the right track. Coming from me. <laughs> so, other than other than the height, I mean, okay, I'll be completely honest. Uh-huh. For me, when it comes to my kids, uh-huh. I don't really have any expectations for my mm-hmm. kids. It's not like we have any control over it, anyways. I, I mean, maybe when we're having kids, we might have. We control. might actually no. I think they're saying that you could like isolate certain genes. Yeah, or something. like you can give like an Asian person like blue eyes too. That's kind of weird. It would be kind of weird when you first look at it, but everybody wears circle lenses anyways. That's true, but not everyone wears blue lenses like on a daily basis. True. Although, okay, if if I want my kids to have, okay, how about this? How about we change the question to, if there is one thing. That I could give my kids of my mm-hmm. like gene pool mm-hmm. of my body or whatever, what would it be? Hmm. Because if you change it to that, there's a lot of options, man. Yo, that's a good question. Like, I like my uh, my determination and drive. Or like that's what I was thinking too. Like, is is your your personality mental traits, yeah. health wise is that something that's hereditary or is that something that's I have a feeling like it's learned. a combination though. Because it could be there, uh-huh. and then some people just don't take advantage of it. But at the same time, it could be... Le- I feel like, though, there's a difference between mm-hmm. someone who has that... If, if per se, this is mm-hmm. a genetic trait, mm-hmm. there's a difference between someone who uh, got it genetically versus someone who, you know, learned it. Because I would feel like that they're going to have certain personality traits that are similar with you because... They're just always around you. Right? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know how a lot of times, like, when you're hanging out with somebody, like, their personality starts to kind of, like, mesh into one. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, learn yeah. things from that person as well, too. So, I've always wondered if it was a hereditary thing or if it was just, like, something just else. Always just being around them. Wait, wait, so what would you give a kid from you? Me? Uh, your vocals. Uh, only if they wanted to, but I always felt like you could always learn how to sing. You don't have a choice. They don't have a choice, though. They're not born yet. You just got to pick one thing. I have to pick one. You have to pick one thing. I would have to say probably... I really don't know. I'd say my height. Your height? Yeah. Just because it seems like a very generic, safe thing to go with. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say... I mean, voice. uh, You know what I think? What? I think you should give your kids your face. My face? I'd like a Bernard Jr. Oh, uh, that Bernard that sounds Jr. weird when I say it like that. I mean, if there was a Bernard Jr. that looks exactly like you, uh-huh. but like five years old. But what if it was a Bernardina? <laughs> 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 what if it wasn't a son? <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to end then this we right gotta, We got to pray that the mom's pretty old. All right, so we're going to listen to a song before we come back with our top five charts. Here is Flames with David Guetta and Sia. And that was Flames by David Guetta featuring Sia. All right, so we're going to continue on with our Monday music charts. Today we're talking about top five idol stars who have an inferiority complex about their looks. All right, so Benji, can you please start that off for us? Our top five idol stars who have an inferiority complex about their looks. The fifth person is... Sugi of Red Velvet. Mm. Sorry about that uh, horrible British accent. Didn't work like I thought it would. My bad. <laughs> I didn't even know you put one in there. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sugi says that she has an inferiority complex about her pointy ears. What? She says that she can't wear hats because of She's them as so a kid. She's so cute, though. Uh, as a kid, she used to have the nickname of Legolas because of her pointy ears. Oh, they're, they're giving I her. think she's adorable. You think she's adorable? I think she's adorable. Why? You, you could wear hats. Just wear it. Just rock it like YG. Yang and so how he uh, stuffs it in his ears all the time, <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe she doesn't have to try. Maybe just, like, stays in there. I mean, yo, I think pointy ears are cute. I've never really... I've never noticed That's it, what though. I'm saying. That's the thing. Like, I don't really notice shapes of ears like that. Well, I mean, you know, you look at ears on a normal basis, like, hey, oh, you're Bernard. Oh, dude, mm-hmm. you got some pointy ears, bro. Like, or may- I, maybe, like, oh, dude, you got, like, you got big earlobes or something <laughs> like that. I've always, because I, I have pretty big ears, too. 
But then I, I've never been like made fun of for my ears. Well, I don't know. They're kids though, mm-hmm. and they'll look for any kind of you know, yeah. Kids are always their their kids are brutal these days, man. Yeah, she's cute though. I mm-hmm. think I think her ears are fine. Mm-hmm. I think they wore cats. All right, cats. <laughs> I meant caps. Caps. <laughs> they were cats during uh, the Dum Dum promotions, uh-huh. I think. Dum 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 Dum. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. I never noticed you had pointy ears. <laughs> I didn't either, honestly. <laughs> yeah, man. Continuing on, top five idol stars who have an inferior complex about their looks, and the fourth one is. <laughs> Kyungmi. So Kyungmi says that she has an inferior complex about her sweaty hands. So uh, she doesn't like to hold hands with other people. And she even uh, high fives people with the back of her hand. That's w- So she backhands people. <laughs> it's like, yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Front hand, backhand. Long time no see, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have sweaty hands too, but I'm just sweaty everywhere. Ew. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's gross. <laughs> Thank you for sharing on like, international radio. Whenever I'm in, like, the tropical islands, like Thailand, Philippines, It's just very moist. Stuff, like, I went with, like, Eric Nam once to uh-huh. film, like, this food program uh-huh. thing. And, dude, like, he's, like, he doesn't even care. Like, he's not even sweaty at all. Really? Yeah, yeah it was, like, 35 to, like, 40 degrees Celsius. He's not sweating that. at all? He barely sweats, man. And I was like, is it just because I'm big? Like, is it, like, a big guy thing? And then I started losing weight. And then I did this performance last a couple weeks ago, maybe like a month ago. The thing with G Man, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. that that day was around like thirty seven degrees too. And you sweat less. And we were inside, and I was still sweating as much. Oh, okay, I thought you were like I lost weight, so, so I, I started think it's sweating just less. Me. That's possible. Maybe I just is there is there a way to like train your sweat glands? Uh, well, I know I can laser them. Oh yeah, true. but it makes more come out in other places. Oh, does it? Yeah, so, like, if you, like, laser off, like, your hands or something, uh-huh. it'll come off from, like, your kneecaps or something. Your kneecaps? Yeah, apparently. Where would where would the most secretive place, where would you want to put your... Sp- <laughs> <laughs> Can we not talk about this? I don't think we should talk about this. I don't think this is a family-friendly topic. Like the back of the knees. The back of the knees. <laughs> I, I, I'll be honest, dude. I, I hate it when you sweat in the back of the knees. I don't really notice it where if I... I don't... Do you... I guess you do sweat in the Dude, I bet if you sweat a lot, are you like a moist towelette? A moist towelette? <laughs> what do you mean? Just like you're moist all over the place. This is Yo, weird. Yo, there's like these there's there's like wet wipes that are supposed to be like cooling. Oh now. yeah, they have those in uh Japan too. They cuz there's alcohol in it a little bit. Oh yeah, I don't I don't like it though cuz it like it has that 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 menthol mm-hmm. feel, yeah. you know, like the icy hot kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I don't. It's not my favorite thing, cause though. Because it, it's like you either get too cold sometimes, or like it make it gives you the shiver sometimes. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Benji, hook us up with our next one. All right, top five idol stars who have an inferiority complex about their looks. The third one is. <laughs> Yi Guang of mm. Highlight. So they say Yi Guang has an inferiority complex about his curly hair. If oh. he doesn't straighten it out with the hair straightener, his hair looks like grass on a soccer field. AstroTurf. So Benji, what's up? Do you have any hair problems? Uh, I have naturally curly hair, mm-hmm. but like I dyed my hair super red mm-hmm. for our uh, promotions for mm-hmm. our last album, and yeah. it messed it up, man. Dude. Like it'll thin it up. You get like mm-hmm. patches sometimes. Mm-hmm. So I'm starting to recover, but mm. that was very New York. Starting to recover. I, I hate dyeing my hair or bleaching it. I've always wanted to do it, but I just... Like, it <laughs> works with some people, and uh-huh. it just doesn't with other people. It burns when you're doing it. it smells bad. It smells bad, and then when you wash your hair... It feels bad. It clumps up yeah. into, like, this ball, and it feels like it's getting tangled. Yeah. And I don't know. It's you gotta just... use conditioner, man, if you, mm-hmm. if you ever dye your hair. Like, my hair, I have a widow's peak... So like you know how most most p- people have like a, a side that that their hair yeah, naturally yeah, 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 yeah. kind of curls to yeah. like if it's like your re- left or right side yeah. but mine it splits in half and it curls like into the middle almost <laughs> and then there's there'll be like a gap like right here sometimes isn't that isn't that a style though in like high fashion but I don't like that style that much that that fifty fifty split yeah because yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know 
it was never really my that's my not your thing move. it's not your thing yeah that's you why I, I kind of keep it short a lot of the times or I like to keep it short and I'll just slick it to the side how about man bun a man bun yeah see I'm not patient enough to wait for my hair to grow that's out that I'm long. waiting right now I'm just waiting for my hair to like get super really? long right now really or, or how about how about like the the, t- uh, the undercut What's but the slick undercut? back What's so the sides are like you got the fades on the side oh like the two block yeah see I want to do that but like my hair has no volume and like you need a good amount of volume for that's it true. to look pretty decent. That's true. You need you need good strength in your hair, mm-hmm. or you gotta style it right. Mm-hmm. All right, so continuing on top five idol stars who have an inferiority complex about their looks, and the second one is. <laughs> Timmin of shiny. So Timmin says that he has an inferiority com- inferiority complex about his small hands. Oh, Yo, just like me. Shout out. Mm-hmm. So he doesn't like what when people talk about hands. Uh, I mean, they said that Timmin's nickname is Magic Hands, which is kind <laughs> of it's kind of weird. Like it's, it's it's a coincidence. It means that anything that goes into his hands disappears magically because he's always good at losing things. Why is that a coincidence? Because like are you called Magic Hands? No, no, no. Like he doesn't like talking about hands or like his his inferiority complex is hands but his nickname is magic hands uh, like you know what I'm saying uh, so maybe he might not like his nickname but uh, he says that he loses a lot of things uh, alright so it's a long way to one we have a hint box that's gonna help us out with the number one spot Benji hook us up with you that. know what I realized today though what's up inferiority mm-hmm. is a hard word to say it is it's, especially it's, fast it's a mouthful mm-hmm. alright so <clears throat> Our first in for today is 28 inches. 28 inches. Huh. Hmm. Uh, no, this hint is too easy. The second hint is turtle. 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 Weird, I don't get it. And the third hint is newest W. I'm lost. Yeah, I don't... I don't know, man. I'm so lost. Maybe there's Those a... hints, I think it just confused me even may, more. I, oh, I think I know. I bet the 28 inches has to do with, like, waist size or something. That's what I was thinking, too. I, I don't know. I'm mm-hmm. guessing. I don't know. All right, so we're going to listen to a song real quick before we come back and reveal a number one spot on our charts. Here is The Middle by Zed, Gray, and Marin Morris. And that was The Middle by Zed, Gray, and Marin Morris. All right, so we're talking about top five idol stars who have an inferior- inferiority complex about their looks. <laughs> yo, word, maybe yo. that might have to be one of my complexes as well, but... English. Uh, Benji, can you please... Hook us up with the hints one last time. Uh, the hints are New East W, Turtle, and 28 Inches. All right. So, you want to reveal which one? Jump into one? it. Top five idol stars who have an inferiority complex about their looks. First place is drumroll, please. A JR of New East W. So that was JR of New East W. So what did those three hints actually mean? So JR of New East W says he has an inferiority complex about his thin waist. Oh, mm-hmm. I was right. His waist is 28 inches around and he has the nickname Turtle because he looks like a turtle. He looks like a turtle? I guess so. More like Kobugi. You know Kobugi? Like they, they call it Kobugi in Korea. It's like they look like a squirtle kind of turtle. Thomas the Turtle? No, like, you're not funny right now. Like, the squirtle! So that's cute. They, yeah, exactly. That's why it's turtle. They call it kobugi in Korea. Mm. You get it? Like, the, like, Hyunsu. Do you know, know who that is? is? No. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, pass! <laughs> Skip! People have an inferiority, inferiority complex of thin waists? May, no, it's possible, though. Because, like, you know, in K-pop idol uh-huh. world, everyone's skinny. Uh-huh. Which means you're going to have people like me... Who the skinniest you can get uh-huh. is not that skinny. That's comparison. what I'm saying. Like that's me too. But then there's people who are just like super skinny, skinny, skinny. Mm-hmm. And then 28 inches for them could be a complex. Like I bet, I guarantee, he probably works out. He tried uh-huh. to gain weight before, and it just doesn't work. Uh, I can see that. 
And that's his complex. I bet that could work. Because they say gaining weight, putting on weight is a lot harder than losing it too. It's possible. Uh huh. Because one of my members like that. Like a lot of people don't. Like, cause it almost sounds like you're bragging. It's like, oh my god, I can't gain weight. Yeah. Like, you know how like, something, yeah, yeah, yeah. like me like having issues with weight majority of my life. Like when I hear people it's like, dude, I could eat so much, but I like I'm trying to gain weight, but I can't. I'm just like, dude, you you spend like a couple months with me and eat everything that I eat, you're gonna gain weight, and then they never do. Yeah. And then it's just like, all right, you just got good genes or something. You just have a really fast metabolism. We get it. Mm-hmm. Alright, so unfortunately, <laughs> that was all the time that we have for today's Monday Hop, Music Charts. Benji, you got any plans for the rest of the day? I don't know, man. Just chilling, man. Just chilling. That's how I always do it, you know? Always working on music and stuff. Cooking steaks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to send Benji out with our next two songs. Here is Focus by Charlie XCX and Connection by One Republic. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.